I want to talk about pushing barn blitz last. For some reason, no one has any idea how to do it. And I'm going to show you how to do it. And to do that, I'm going to take you, first of all, to a completely different map. I'm going to take you to PL Badwater. Um, <clears throat> so, as you can see, let me not use the pumpkin. Uh, where's my no notebook not working? So, when you're pushing bad water first, what do you do? You uber out, the snipers over there, you push the cart, and you push the cart all the way through the tunnel until you get to about here. And then you stop. Why do you stop? Because they have a level 3 up here, or up here, pointing down at the cart. And then you can't push it any further because they have a nest up there. So what do you do? That's right, you come back over here, you go up these rocks, and you take control of the high ground in order to destroy the level 3 and anyone who's spamming down. And then once you have control of the high ground, you're free to push the cart to the first point. It's the same on Bad Water Second. They have sentries up there, so what do you do? You take control of the high ground, and then you can push. Okay, so you're on Barn Blitz. You're, you're, you've, you've gone through all of this stuff. You're at last. How are you supposed to push in as a team? First step, engineers. Look, we're playing engineer right now. You're gonna wanna get a sentry set up. Everyone knows this. Probably gonna put it here, right? You're probably gonna put your sentry here. You might put it here. Although it's a bit risky from snipers. This is the most common place I see to put a level three. And they generally speaking have, you know, a dispenser here as well. And, and uh, a tally. This stuff, this is the meta. Everyone knows how to do this. Or they might have that stuff up there. It's probably less good. Put your dispenser up here. It's good if you have a level three here. You know, or maybe further back and you have your tallies here playing very passively. It's not really doing that much for your team, but it doesn't really matter because your only job is to make sure that the other team doesn't push you back super far if they get an Uber or if someone flanks. That your job is just to make sure that doesn't happen. You know how to play Blue Engineer. You've done it before, I'm sure. Uh, so that's very important. It's very important that you have a sentry up. Why? Because the rest of the team, your job is to take the high ground. And by the high ground, I mean this place. See, it says locker room. You need to take locker room. This is how you win on Barn Blitz last. You take locker room, okay? A lot of times, engineers, they'll just have a sentry like right out in the open here. Oftentimes it's under there, but a lot of times they just have one like up there, right? This is prime demo man, just shoot down here right just just spam your stickies down there also common to have a sentry up there it goes down like nothing two direct hits two lock and loads a couple stickies you know it's fine sentries up there are a little more difficult to deal with from here but a direct hit soldier can very easily deal with it the only difficult thing is if they have a sentry in this building or especially this sneaky spot where you can you can get it if you put a hold on let me uh put a dispenser here so you can you can do this I believe you can if you sort of spam around you can find a place where you can put a sentry up here uh, it's not that great because if it gets to level 3 uh, the rockets are too high up and the rockets just shoot into this bit of wood but it does make it a little harder to spam down uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a tricky spot to deal with, but basically they're going to be in here. This you can only deal with with an uber push. But you know what's a great place to push into from here? Not the main choke. Because you're going to have 50 fucking people trying to air blast you back, trying to kill you. Don't push in with uber from here. Push in with uber from locker room. You get an uber heavy to drop down. Brrr, 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 brrr. It's all gone. The nest is gone. The dispenser is back here. Brrr, it's gone. Right? You, you just brat it down. Um, now this area, this area is fucked. Whoever designed this is an idiot. This is the real reason, let me explain. The reason why Barn Blitz Last is hard to push, even though it has so many entrances and places to come from, is because this is obviously the main choke. It's supposed to be hard to push through. But the, the flanks, right, you first have to push through something super choky, i.e. this tiny little thin corridor, only to put you in an, it leaves you outside where you are exposed to everything and yet you barely have any space to maneuver. It's the same up here. 
Oops. <laughs> you push through uh, this tiny little choky staircase that's always got, you know, pipes and stickies on it. And you get, and then what do you get? You get this tiny little choky area to maneuver around. But if you've already pushed locker room, it becomes way easier to push up here because you can spam down sentries over there and more. you just apply pressure to anyone visible. You know, it's just better. It's just better is what I'm saying. So take locker room first, then take this area, and then it's over for the other team. Then red is just done. If you have both of these areas, you, you're, you're, it's over, right? You've won, you've won the match. But here's something important for the engineers out there. Engineers, you're very key. You have to have that sentry up there because otherwise, while the rest of your team is pushing, focusing on locker room, you know, maybe you have a couple people holding down the choke, but it's very easy to get flanked. So, or not to get necessarily flanked, but for the, for the other team to push you, push pretty far back. You know, I've been pushed all the way back to spawn before. It's not good. It's not fun. This is why your level three is very important. But what I want you to do, Engineer, is that when your team is pushing, when they have the uber push, you need to move your sentry to here. If you see that the cart is being pushed like this area, like it's going to win, it's going to be a successful push. I've lost when the cart got to here. I have lost. They have pushed us all the way back. It's happened. As soon as you get your sentry up there, everyone else is going to be focused on stopping the cart. You get your sentry up there, it's done. It's actually over. There's nothing they can do. If you can get a sentry up there while people are distracted by people uh, on the cart late, you know, you've just done. Demo man. I'm a demo main myself. You need to be sticky spamming. You need to be spawn trapping them here. Do not, them, do not let them leave this spawn. This spawn area is too far away. If you've already pushed here, it's too late for them to do anything. So you, ev they know to do this already. Every demo main knows to do this. We all love to sticky trap the... Uh, the the spawn doors but just in case you need to be sticky trapping the spawn doors it has to happen uh that's once you get an uber push you get the uber in you want to be dropping down from here because if you get the uber in here it looks like oh look we're already out of the choke but you're not actually out of the choke this is the real choke this point is the real choke you you're never if you're ever here you're fucked <laughs> if you're ever here as like any of the slower classes you're dead already pyros I'm going to need you to switch off Pyro. Uh, <laughs> you're not going to be able to help your team push last if you're playing Pyro, even with the Flog. It's just not going to happen. Maybe the Dragon's Fury could make something work, but you don't need to... Don't be on Pyro. Just don't do it. It's just... It's not worth it. Uh, you know, soldiers, you need to be up here. You need to be spamming down sentries. You need to be spamming the spawn. You need to be doing all that stuff. Like, spies, you're incredibly important. This is all fucked up because of sentries. So spies, what I need you to do, I need you to get this damn dispenser. I need you to get the dispenser, why? Because once whoever does it destroys the sentry that's here or here or up here or up here, once the sentry's down, up there is maybe less important, but once the sentry's down in one of these other areas, I've even seen it back here, it's not gonna matter if the engineer has the jag and uh, a, a dispenser, a level three dispenser. They can stand on it. Did you know you get double metal if you stand on it? I mean, you're not gonna see it because I've got infinite ammo right now, but you can just stand on it and within like, you know, it barely takes any time to get a, a sentry up to level three again. And then, then you're back to square one. You're back to, you're back to nothing. So you need to be dealing with the dispensers, guys. I'm gonna need you to, to get the dispensers. Uh, it's very important. Look, that's how quick it was. That's easily enough to, to, you know, stop a push and completely ruin the game for everyone. <laughs> uh, snipers, you know what you're doing. You're already doing it. You're doing. You're standing here and uh, missing your shots, and that's fine. That's what you're supposed to do. Make sure the med takes 50 damage from time to time. Uh, medics, be up there. Be up there and hanging way back. It's 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 pretty easy. You should be being up here helping your team. You got soldiers, demos, power classes, heavies, everyone's up here. You need to be hanging way back here, giving them health, giving them arrows, because this tiny health pack is not enough. Honestly, this this entire map could be fixed. This entire last could be fixed if this was a large health pack instead of a tiny one. Uh, it would be so much easier to push. So, uh, medics, be up here. Be delivering heals. Medics, you determine where your team goes. Your team will congregate around you because you're the one delivering heals. 
and it's, it doesn't even matter if they do it consciously. This is the thing you don't realize, medics. Medics, you're so important. You are the drivers of natural selection because wherever you are, your team is living. So even if you have, you know, some people here, some people up there, and then you're over here, they're gonna die, and the only ones who are still alive are gonna be up here. Uh, let me do this again. <clears throat> So you got to be healing your people up here. You got to be healing your people up here. I never see medics do this. They're st they're scared cuz you know what's going to happen. A soldier's going to jump up and bomb and it's it's whatever. Demos, you just put some stickies down here. It's not very difficult. It's not very difficult. The soldier bombs, you put some stickies there. He's landing on the stickies. He's dead. No one else can really get up here. So, you know, and medics, as long as you hang back over here, you're basically safe. You can always retreat if something goes wrong. You're basically safe. You could also hang back over here, but I often see um, stuff getting lobbed over this little wall. This wall is way too low to really protect you. But you could hang back over here and sort of jump down if it becomes a problem. Um, you know, it is what it is. But oftentimes, they're going to be in here. Like, the, the red team is going to be in locker room. And that's a problem. You need to get them out of locker room because this gives them so much power because now they're attacking you from this side. They're attacking you from this side and they're going to be attacking you from here as well. And in that case, you're just fucked. That's how you get sent back to spawn. That's how you get driven, your entire team driven back to spawn. You don't want that. So you need to be focusing your effort on locker room. It's just that important. What other classes are in the game? Yeah, heavy, you should be up here. Uh, I mean, you could, be, you could be anywhere else, but you'd probably be best up here. Scout, you're not gonna want to play this map. Go play it. Go you switch off by the time you get to last. Uh, yeah, soldiers, I already said you should be up here. Pyro, you should probably switch off. Demo, you should be up here. Heavy, yeah. Engineer, you know what to do. Build your level three. Build your tally over there. Um, you could even, if you really wanted to be helpful, you could even build a dispenser here, but that's a bit risky. Um, tally or disp I've never seen anyone build a tally dispenser like a whole engineer nest up here. I feel like it probably could be pretty effective, but uh, it's also very vulnerable to spam. So, uh, you know, your mileage may vary. Yeah, I think we've, and spies, you know what to do. You all do the same thing. You jump on this lamp for some reason, and then you get back here, and then you like bully the engineer. That's fine. You need to be bullying the engineer. That's your job. Uh, get the snipers, get the engineers. Snipers are very annoying to deal with on that barn blitz last because they're so far away. There's basically nothing you can do about them. The The answer is you can have your own snipers. Problem is they're going to be vulnerable to all the spam from this tiny choke. Whereas the red snipers are just completely chilling back here. So in reality, it's not even very good to counter the red snipers with your own sniper. The best option is to just, uh, I don't know, pray. The best option is just to pray that they miss their shots push in as a team and then overwhelm them they're gonna fall back over here your demos are gonna be sticky spamming and then you'll be fine so that's how you push bomb list last it's the only other way I've seen it successfully pushed is push locker room take locker room first then take this upper section and then once you've got that they have nowhere left to, to build any sort of uber push is gonna absolutely destroy them that's it that's bomb blitz. It's not as hard as people make it out. You just have you're just approaching it wrong.